Hello, it's Lucy Orta. I just wanted to show you today the Jen Hatfield collection. I didn't buy the whole coll entire collection, but I did get the six by eight paper pad and a few of the 12 by 12 pages and the ephemera packs. Hey, I can't buy every little thing of every collection, but you know, I pick and choose. And I bought this because it reminds me of fall. It's really pretty and I could use it for my November thankful album. Um, I'm still thinking about that. But anyway, here's the Jen Hatfield collection and I'll go, it is, go through it with you. It is 36 pages and I believe it's single sided. Yes, it is. So here are the cut apart sheets. Um, they're kind of small in the six by eight, but I bought them in the 12 by 12 so I could get the three by four. So there they are. This has gold and this is just the black and white. So the six by eight does have the gold, gold leaf. See, there we are. It's really pretty. The foil, gold foil is what it is. And I love this color. It's like a, like a periwinkle blue here, cornflower blue. I'm dating myself because I know the all the colors in the 64 Crayola box, the original colors. Um, this with words, and it has a few gold words in there, memories. Um, this is the stuff memories are made of. It's very pretty. So appropriate for November and um, a Thanksgiving meal. Just so pretty. Uh, this one is beautiful. And it has more of that um, cornflower blue color, which I love. It has like a mint green. And then, um, or like a seafoam green. How's that? And then a peach color and a pink color. And then, of course, it's got the, the centers of those flowers are gold foil. It's really pretty. This color, see how these are like fall colors? This one also, very beautiful. The houses are absolutely gorgeous. And they are gold foiled, of course. See how pretty that is? This is pretty. Hmm, could even use watercolor on that. So pretty. Green with this little um, pattern, which could be like a wheat sort of pattern. Oh, this is beautiful. See what I'm thinking, November. Little houses again. Um, they're like wooden houses. Really cute. Another check. And these are the tags. And I also got the tags, I believe I got them in the 12 by 12. Yes, there they are. I got them in the 12 by 12 sheet. But of course, the ones on here, the smaller ones, have the gold foil on them. This is absolutely pretty. Just look at that. Very, very pretty. Has more, bring, uh, brings in some yellows there. Instead of the blue, the yellow is there. And the black. And this. This. The collection is very, very pretty. This here. And this is spectacular. Again, gold foil. It'll be pretty with some light watercolor. You know, different colors, watercolor in there. That'd be very pretty. A butterfly, black and cream. A wonky dot. And I think we start all over again. Anyway, that's that's what I got there. And like I said, I did buy the 12 by 12 paper and the cards. And the back of that is the words. And then I bought this, which is two by two squares, which you don't get in the six by eight, but which are absolutely necessary if you're using a snap album and you have those little two by two pockets. They're really cute. Some banners there. Banners there are really cute. And the back is this pattern. And I even like that. Isn't that pretty? <coughs> Excuse me. 
I have really bad allergies today. Mm. It's going to be like 102, 104 maybe here in Dallas. Okay, so here are the tags. How to get those in the regular 12 by 12. So if I didn't mention it, it's Jen Hatfield, The Avenue. On the back of this, we have a wood veneer. So I'm thinking that the 12 by 12s are different than the um, 6 by 8 because none of these patterns, not the wood veneer, not that one, are in the other one. And then this, must have this. I absolutely love this. Love this page right there for like a 6 by 8 album or if you're doing the old um, Echo Park sheet protectors, they have this size pocket. And there you go. And they also have it going the, vertically and horizontally. They have it both ways. And these are nice journaling cards. You get some verticals and horizontals there. And then back, you get this, which what again isn't in the the six by eight. So there are different papers in there. I've got to go back and take a look at that. Um, but these are real pretty heart and home, perfect. You know, any Jen Hadfield collection, um, except for, I think there's one about spring, are, are good for, for November because they they have a lot of, um, you know, fall colors. She does a lot of fall colors. So this is called the Icon Ephemera. And here it is. And these are the icons that are included. It's really pretty, the butterflies, the houses, um, you see some dogs, you see some, um, you know, some acorns, a lot, a lot of trees, fall trees, a lot of things that you would think of as fall. And you have some gold foil pieces in here. The butterflies are in the black and they're also in the gold foil. You know, a bike, an acorn, you know, you have some stuff that's, that's, um, it's beautiful. So there's 40 icon pieces here. And then you get... There's the option of this one, which is phase ephemera, phrase ephemera. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And then you get all these, you know, little phrases here that you can cut apart. And a lot of gold foiling on this. Here's what you get in the pack without me opening all of it. And then you get, of course, everyone, you need to buy this. 50 pieces of the floral ephemera. And that is spectacular. And she has them separated, the small floral pieces, the midsize, and the large. Absolutely beautiful. You can feel the thickness of it, of what she's included in here. Um, and you get all of this. So this is all I wanted to show you um, the, today. I'm probably going to post another video on the Pebbles um it's the little boy collection for Pebbles that they just came out with, which is spectacular. Um, but I just wanted to come on here quick and show you what I got from the Jen Hatfield collection. Thank you for joining me. Bye.